Ruby Chibi Volume 1 Finale. Or I guess Season 1. I don't even know if, to, if I should specify Volume or Season. But this is the final, and also I believe it's the 24th episode of the very first season of Ruby Chibi. Um, it's been a weird journey going through this first season. We had a ton of characters show up. A ton of characters that didn't show up, even though we've had, you know, it, it's not like we have Neo who shows up. But we didn't get, like, any professors. We didn't get anyone from Coffee. We didn't even get Velvet, even though, even you know, when she first showed up, it was like, oh, hey, there's a British girl. Um, but, you know, we had a couple characters, and it was always like, who's going to show up next? Kind of like the actual series, we got to wait till the next season to see some people show up. But it's been a fun journey. Um, tons of crazy skids, breaking canon, in between canon, not canon, is canon, all sorts of stuff. And we get to this final episode. I'm already super late with this, so I only have like two days to wait uh, for Volume 4. Technically, it started because the World of Remnant episode is out, which I'm super excited to watch. But this episode, I was not happy with. I'm not going to lie. I was like, this was not, in my personal opinion, and a lot of people's opinion based on the comments I read, the best way to end up this first season. A lot of people said it was cringeworthy. Um, I just didn't think it was really funny, uh, except for really the only parts where they didn't use a laugh track that was all I laughed at were which were the fake commercials and I love fake commercials especially when they're like really silly and I liked those two commercials more than anything else in the whole thing I was like okay I thought it was going to be that first part was going to be the laugh track and then once it ended I thought it was going to go to something else I was like oh no these are fake commercials because they're it's going to be one long thing and I was like I, I was like, at least, uh, you know, when I was watching, I was like, I like the commercials, but I know I'm not going to like it once it goes back to, like, the, you know, the regular uh, show. And I didn't. I was like, it was cool to see all the characters show up. I enjoyed that. And just seeing everybody together. They had the, <laughs> they had the, um, they had the old guy in a grim costume, which I thought was just funny for some reason. But, you know, it was cool to see all the characters at the end of the episode actually, like, standing together. And maybe it was just... I don't know, maybe it was just me, but I swear the animation looked super different compared to the rest of the episodes. I was like, this looks, it, like all the characters looked a bit shinier, like they felt, they looked like they had like more reflective areas like on their skin and on their hair and stuff, especially Weiss. I was like, she looks like, the only way I can think to term this is she looked liquidy and shiny, like her hair looked very fluid. That's a much better description, but her hair looked fluid. But really shiny and they were doing like way more expressions like they've done movements before um but they were doing like a million of them in this episode where they would do like little stuff where they would like you know move their hands and move their bodies i was like this is interesting that i liked it was like a technical side of things i was like it's cool to see that because that's just something that we don't see too often like um in the old skit where ruby and yang were playing chess and they were, you know they like checkmate and blake and weiss like shot in and they were breathing really hard when I, when I first saw that, I was like, that's kind of cool because we don't see them move like that. So it was cool watching that in this episode. There were like a bunch of movements. It was like they're flexing and this and that. And that I thought was cool. And they did have some funny stuff. I don't think, apparently there's, even in episodes I don't enjoy, if Sun and Neptune are in a scene together, I will love it. Because even their scene, I was like, that's funny. And that's like that and the commercials are the only parts I enjoy. But... You know, it was a weird way to end it. Like, I always hate when shows do the fake laugh track thing. Like, I've never been a big fan of that because, typically speaking, when they do it, it's kind of like this episode where it's like, oh, we do the super obvious jokes, or we, er, like, half the jokes are obvious references or just taglines, and I always hate that type of stuff. And I'm like, ugh, I just wish they didn't end it that way because it could have been, like, any normal skit you know, with the laugh track, and it still could have been funny, but this was just like, they were just doing some of this, you know, same stuff. Like, you when it first started, I thought it was kind of funny because it was like, oh, they have, you know, the thing with Yang when she's looking at the guys, and then Weiss is looking through it, and she's like, you know, you're such a, like, you're terrible or whatever, and Yang's like, you know, you're the one who's still looking through. That I did think was, you know, genuinely funny, but the rest of it was like, it's already not that funny to me, and then the laugh track comes in at every single thing, and I'm like, ugh. It just makes it worse. It makes, like, non-funny stuff way less funny to me, and it just made me hate it. I was like, ah, oh, that really sucks. So, odd way to end it, if I'm being totally honest. For me personally, like I said, and, you know, I know there are a lot of people out there based on the comments, kind of the same feeling. It was like, not how I thought this was going to end. Not really my favorite of the episodes. I don't know if it's my least favorite episode, but honestly, it might be, out of the entire season, 
the finale was like the worst you know thing for me so it still doesn't negate obviously all the good stuff that we had this season and I still want more junior detectives even if it's like two minutes long I don't care I want more of that but you know the season has officially ended not the greatest ending I would have to say I just really didn't like this final episode and I really hate to say that it's like it's the finale but it, it's a show I can like it or not like it but you know finale not phenomenal for me but I am excited of course Ruby is coming up World Remnant has already started I'm excited to see that learn more about the world I don't even know honestly what to expect I, I still haven't watched the um the recap of the first three volumes either I was like all right I'm gonna save that um until I like do my reviews and stuff so I'm gonna save that for mm, I might watch that after this and then I still have to review the manga for this month because I'm actually really behind on that as well so got a lot of movie stuff to do this weekend I'm actually excited for it but I got a lot of other random stuff happening too so I'm like oh I hope I get time to just sit down and enjoy this first episode which I really hope is like a 30 minute episode too which I assume it will be but I'm excited for this first episode for sure of course uh, I already put my super remote down I don't know why I put the remote down at the beginning of the review that's why I bent down but I definitely want to know what you guys thought about this finale. Um, I want to know what you guys thought about the whole season, the whole series of Ruby JB in general. Just the idea, the, you know, the reality of it. Some of your favorite skits, or least favorite skits throughout this entire season. So please comment below. Let me know. If you have anything that you really loved about this episode, I would want to know that as well. Because, like I said, for me, I actually really laughed at the commercials. It was like, alright, the thing with Priya where she's eating the cereal and it's, you know, she's like, Mm, so sweet and nutritious and stuff that I love and then of course they have the Roman and Neo thing and he's like you know it's definitely not poison and the fact that they made a joke about Neapolitan ice cream um that was an easy one but it was still really funny and then it's like you know it's definitely not poison and then they have the narrator come in and he's like you know it's not authorized by this this and this so don't eat it and it's probably poison so I like that uh, those two parts I was like this is really funny to me I don't need the fake laugh track and the obvious jokes in and out. I really don't understand why they did that for an entire episode, but I didn't really love it a, a ton. But like I said, more than anything, even with this, you know, not so awesome finale uh, or season finale for Ruby Chibi, we have actual Ruby coming back. And once that happens, it's like, who gives a crap about the Ruby Chibi? As much as I love it, the actual series is coming back and I'm so freaking happy, but... Like I said, I want to know what you guys thought about this episode. Favorite episodes or just specifically your favorite skits and stuff throughout this whole season. Um, I say this every freaking time, but the Junior Detective stuff is like number one. That has been the best. Um, uh, Nora with the coffee in the last one, that was a phenomenal one. Like that last episode I think is my favorite one out of the entire season. And then this was just right after, probably my least favorite. But want to know yours, um, and if you guys want to just randomly talk about how excited you guys are for uh, Volume 4 starting up, which by the time I upload this will probably just flat out be tomorrow. So if you guys want to talk about that, you know, please put those comments down in the comment section below as well. And of course, thanks for watching.